So in UFC 4, we have a preset selection of body types that we can choose from for our created fighters, and whichever body type we choose gives us a certain physique that we are not able to further alter. So in this video, we're just going to take a look at a couple of the tattoos that we can use to enhance our fighters' physiques. And we're mainly going to be focusing on the chest and abdominal regions, but you can apply these techniques anywhere else on the body as well. So let's hop into it. Now in this example, I'm using black shapes, but just depending on the skin tone of your fighter, you might want to experiment with other colors. So I'm just going to start with shapes 126, and I'm going to run it a couple of times along the edge of his left pectoral in an attempt to make it look like it pops out further because obviously this body type doesn't have a ton of muscle definition. And then once I've sized them, shaped them, and placed them where I want them to redefine the pectoral, I'll go back in and bring down the opacity to a level that it looks natural. And now we have the appearance of a slightly more muscular left pec on our fighter. Now I'm going to grab shapes 181 and try to come in and add some further definition. Specifically, we're going to try to add some more pec separation. Essentially what we're doing here is just trying to use these shapes as shaders just to give the appearance that certain muscles are popping out further than they actually are. So I've added some pec separation and then we can move down and do the same thing to separate the abdominals. Most of the stuff I'm going over I learned from watching Emerald Crab 332's videos. He's very very good at essentially using tattoos as shaders all over the entire body including the face to add detail that we aren't able to otherwise add with the create a fighter system and this is his logan paul and you can see just how awesome the physique on this fighter looks from the abs to the pecs to the collarbone to the neck the way he applies these tattoos just looks so natural and if you didn't know any better you wouldn't even know this physique wasn't available in the game so if you want a more in-depth look at how to do this type of thing, I would encourage you to go watch basically any one of his videos. He puts all this effort into every one of his fighters. Now let's hop back here to another example of a fighter that I did. So this is Kevin Randleman. For those who don't know, he's got a very muscular physique, even for an MMA fighter. So again, we're just cycling through shapes 181 shaders that I used to try to duplicate his muscular definition. Here I'm just adding some to the lower abdominals to give that sort of V taper effect. That is common on very muscular but lean physiques. Again, this idea came directly from Emerald Crab. And I'm basically just trying to emulate him here. When I see someone come up with a good technique, I'm definitely going to employ it. And then again, we're doing the same thing with the pectorals here. Now you can kind of subtly slightly change the shape of the pectorals as well. Just be careful not to stray too far off course because there's already lines on the body type and if you redefine the pec line too sharply then you're going to end up with two different lines and it's going to look too unnatural. Now let's take a look at another fighter I used this on with a different skin tone. So we have Ken from Street Fighter. Now you'll see me keep using shapes 126 here for the pec muscles. But Emerald Crab actually uses shapes 181, which is probably a better option. I'm just not proficient enough with it to do that. And then because of the end result I was looking for on this fighter, the separators for the pectoral muscles as well as the abdominals, I used purple shapes rather than black. And then similar to the Kevin Randleman, I went back in with shapes 181 to try to further define the lower abdominals to get the same type of V taper and then you'll see me going over each ab individually as well with shapes 181. Trying my best to follow the lines that were already on the body and then further make them pop. And then here's an example where I was trying to decrease I guess the physique of a body type or add some body fat. So same idea but on this sumo wrestler here I just placed the tattoos in a way that made it look like the body fat on the pecs were folding over and then went and did the same thing on the back for some skin folds. Not perfect obviously, but just an idea. And as I said, there's no right shape to use all the time. So on the right hand side of this fighter's abs, I used the blurry black shapes and I wasn't really happy with it. So now I'm just going back in with shapes 126 on the left hand side, and they're seeming to follow the shape of the abdominals a little bit nicer. I only demonstrated using this stuff on the torso area, but like I said, you could go try this on the shoulders, arms, etc. 
that's going to be all for this video and the next and last tutorial coming out is going to look at accessories as well as superhero clothing.